Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Newtopia for the TurboGrafx-16 Part 2. When we last left off, we completed the first and second labyrinths. So with that said, let's get started. It is time for the real adventure of your journey to begin. As an old and wise mother, I have the power of healing. Come back when you feel weak, okay, Sonny? Alright then, now let's head to the subterranean sphere and check out my new flame. Oh yeah, let's burn some shit down. Oh, that was some bullshit. The fire knocked the enemy right back into me. That's okay, I kind of like these fireballs better than the flames. Before we head to the third labyrinth, we're going to pick up a couple items. Yeah, yeah, fake rocks, you don't fool me. Let's burn down these crystals and see what's inside. Welcome to our world, Gisetta! As a show of our appreciation, take this moonbeam moss! This special jar of moss will allow you to light your way in the thickness of dark. Go now and recover the two medallions that are hidden in the depths of this labyrinth. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the jar of moonbeam moss. Now let's go back to the beginning of this world. Give me your gold, bitch. I'll take your gold, too. Now that we're back at the beginning, let's head west. Oh, hell yeah, a chair. Ooh, it's dark on this screen. Let's go ahead and use the moonbeam moss. Now let's kill these two guys, push one of the rocks, and reveal a secret passage. I am the Monk of Key from the world down under. I wish to help you in your search. I will give you an ability to carry an extra four bombs. Your maximum has been increased. Cool, now that we got the Moonbeam Moss and we can carry four more bombs, let's head to the third labyrinth. Yeah, you fake rocks don't fool me. Alright, an hourglass. Even better, a cherry. Let's go ahead and burn this crystal down and take a shortcut. And right up here, we will find the entrance to the third labyrinth. Let's go ahead and go in. Yeah, this dungeon's almost impossible to do without the moonbeam moss.
Oh hell yeah, treasure. I want that shit. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the crystal ball. Disappeared. Aw oh, shit, it looks like I'm locked in. I'm gonna have to kill all the enemies and probably push a block. Now, which one of these blocks is it? Of course, it's the last one I push. Locked in this room also. I guess I gotta kill the enemies. I like these enemies. They just run into my sword. Jumping to Zeta, you made it! We are all thrilled by your fighting magnificence! I would like to reward your bravery with this bronze shield. It will protect you from the demons and their large arsenal of weapons. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the bronze shield. Well, it looks like I've been everywhere in this dungeon, but you actually use a bomb on the north wall in this room. This may look like an empty room with some ghosts in it, but you actually need to bomb the west wall. And now we enter another room that looks like it's empty, except for some wraiths. But we also need to bomb the west wall of this room too. Oh, I hate this room. That hole just keeps on popping out these little ghosts. Oh yeah, Cherry, give me that shit. in here. I guess I gotta kill all the monsters and probably have to push one of these 12 blocks. Alright, I found it on the second try. Aw, oh, hell yeah, some treasure. I want that shit. This is kind of weird. Nothing's guarding it. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the key to the crypt. Shit, not this room again. I hate these guys. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. And in the next room right above us is the third boss. But first we gotta kill all the monsters. Alright then, let's go kick the third boss's ass. And the third boss is two gargoyles that shoot daggers at you. So watch out for their daggers and just kill them. And it is possible to block the daggers with your shield, so you can use that strategy also. Oh shit, I'm about to die. I don't know why I didn't use a potion here and heal myself back to full. 
Oh yeah, there goes one gargoyle. Excellent, killed the third boss. Now let's go get the medallion. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the prize medallion. You need to find the second medallion before the door to the spew will open. Gisetta's life force has been increased by one for his brave and valiant efforts. As an old and wise mother, I have the power of healing. Come back when you feel weak, okay, Shiny? Now that we've completed the third labyrinth, let's go ahead and get our shitty password. Do you wish to have the password? Yes, Grandma. Now that we've wrote down our shitty password, let's head back to the subterranean sphere. Before we go to the fourth labyrinth, we have to pick up an item, or else we cannot complete that labyrinth. We've already been up here before, but let's go to the right this time. Whoops, I took the wrong stairs. I need to be on the other side. Another dark area. Let's go ahead and light it up. Let's try to push these rocks over here. No, nope, that didn't work. Let's go inside and talk to the guy. Who are you? If you are another one of Durst's demons, I'm warning you to stay out. I'll never be able to trust anyone again. I forget the whole story behind this guy, but one of the town folks tells you that he's hiding something. So let's go over here and try to push these rocks. There it is. Let's go inside. Aw, oh, hell yeah, treasure. Give me that shit. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the Rainbow Drop. The Rainbow Drop acts like a bridge and allows you to cross places that you otherwise would not be able to cross. And it is impossible to complete the fourth dungeon without the Rainbow Drop. So now let's head to the fourth dungeon. Oh yeah, give me that cherry. And across the bridge is the entrance to the fourth dungeon. Let's go inside. And as you can see, without the rainbow drop, you would not be able to cross the bloody water.
Oh, we're locked in. Guess we gotta kill all the creatures. Let's go over here first. The doors are shut. I'm probably going to have to kill all the monsters in here and move a certain block. That's going to be fun. Awesome. It only took me three tries. Oh, hell yeah, some treasure. I want that shit. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the steel armor. Now let's get the hell out of this room. In this room, you can actually bomb the north wall. And it leads to a room that looks like a dead end, but you can actually bomb the east wall in this room. Take a cherry. Now let's bomb the north wall. Oh hell yeah, more treasure. I want that shit. Our hero Gisetta has obtained the medicine of vitality. You can carry up to two medicines of vitality, and I believe that was my second one. Uh-oh, I'm locked in. I guess I better kill the monsters. Hell yeah, another treasure. I want that shit. Damn, this is like Indiana Jones style. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the crystal ball. Now let's go ahead and push one of these blocks in the middle so we can head north. in again. Time to start kicking these monsters' asses. Which block is it this time? Oh wow, I guessed right. At first glance, this may look like a dead end, but you can actually bomb the north wall. You might have noticed that the potion of vitality has turned red. That means you have two doses. If it's green, you only have one dose. Ah, oh, hell yeah, there's a treasure, and you know that shit's gonna be mine.
Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the key to the crypt. Now we gotta do a little backtracking. You just did this, dumbass. It's the other one. Shit, this is gonna be tough to get by. A bunch of booby traps, a ghost, and this stupid snake thing. I don't even know how you get past it without getting hit. And in the next room right above us is the fourth boss, but first we gotta kill these assholes. Alright then, let's go kick the fourth boss's ass. And the fourth boss is a giant centipede. He is the easiest boss in this entire game. Just move forward and keep stabbing. He will die. Oh yeah, and down goes the fourth boss. Now let's go get our medallion. Our hero, Gisetta, has obtained the prized medallion. This is the passage to the sphere of the sea. Do your best to save our waters. Gisetta's life force has been increased by one for his brave and valiant efforts. As an old and wise mother, I have the power of healing. Come back when you feel weak, okay, Shani? And as you can see, a new passageway has opened. Let's take a sneak peek. Oh yeah, that music is kick ass. Now let's go back and get our shitty password. Do you wish to have the password? Yes, we do, Grandma. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Newtopia for the TurboGrafx-16 Part 2. I want to thank you again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 3.